tampons, pads and panty liners. Most women use them but are they secretly harboring dangerous chemicals that could be causing us harm? Lifestyle blogger Kentucky Lee Clark seems to think so. Kentucky Lee, who is married to Australian cricketer Michael Clark, explained in a post on her blog La Festile that after receiving products from an organic feminine hygiene company she did some research on the subject. Research that led her to conclude your body could be absorbing dioxins and other bleaching agents through the porous membranes in your vagina. A post shared by KYLY, at Killer Clark, on November 17, 2017 at 2.10 a.m. PSD. You may not be aware that cotton, that is not organic, comes from one of the most heavily sprayed crops in the world, and polyester itself is derived from crude oil and therefore these ingredients are being absorbed by your vagina on a regular basis, she claims. It's so incredibly important to look after your body inside and out and nobody has ever said they like toxins in their body, have they? Yes, we are always making sure the environment around us is livable, healthy and safe, but the most important environment is the one inside us. So should you listen to Kentucky Lee's advice and ditch your non-organic tampons and pads? Well. First off, let's be clear, this post was an advertisement. But that's no reason alone to discount the information being passed on. We have no doubt Kentucky Lee would only partner with a company she agrees with, whose values align with her own and that her own views are being expressed in this post. But it does mean that unlike say, a news article, there was no opportunity for other tampon and pad brands to defend their products nor input from experts who may verify or disagree with the statements presented. Listen, Samantha eggs on why getting your period is not great when you are a sex worker. Yes, dioxins are nasty chemicals and the byproduct of converting wood pulp into a synthetic fiber, rayon, which is an ingredient in some tampons and pads. But U.S. manufacturers were required to change their bleaching methods in the 90s and the process no longer creates dioxin, according to Forbes. This is relevant because many of Australia's popular PAD and tampon brands are also sold in the U.S. Meanwhile, Canadian Cancer Society says Canada and the U.S.'s regulatory health authorities ensure products are safe for use. Tampons are made from cotton, rayon or a mix of both. Rayon is made from bleached wood pulp. In the US, rayon raw materials are now made using elemental chlorine-free or totally chlorine-free bleaching processes that are dioxin-free. Trace amounts of dioxin have been found in tampons using state-of-the-art testing methods. But these trace levels are at or below the detectable limit and are not considered a health concern for tampon users. Dioxin can be found in air, water and ground from years of pollution so it's possible that trace amounts of dioxin are present because of the environmental sources of tampons. Similarly in Australia in the early 2000s, National Dioxin Action Plan was developed as our country became aware of the risks. Brands in Australia that Mamma Mia found listed their ingredients, also said their rayon was bleached using chlorine-free methods. 